Hey guys, we're back. We're gonna hit the save button for poster posterity <laughs> immediately. Um, we are back with Conquest of Elysium 4. Um, we are running into some issues on the front that we're fighting on, but no need to worry. We're dealing with it in some manner of speaking. I think I really need to limit the Ballista's power, and I'm a little worried she runs up here on us, but I'm not as worried um, as I am wanting to take advantage of all this emptiness, because I have a feeling we've taken out one of her bigger armies. This is probably the best, in my mind. I'm not a level 2 Dark Prayers person. I'm going to run this army up here. We probably should have levied before we left, but that's okay. It wouldn't even have cost us movement. We're going to move up here with these guys. We need to rebuild our mage core because they got absolutely wiped, except for this black sorceress and these guys. We still have some mage core, but it's not very strong anymore. <laughs> we have this astrologer that we're sending on a mission to retake this land. Or not retake, take it for ourselves. And see what the enchanter has in this direction. Um, he so far has seemed like our weakest target. Um, we did technically lose this fight, but I'm planning on skipping these guys and just running him down. Because that, this, this, I cannot stress enough, this was years worth of work. These take mines away from him, so he's going to be um, hurting for units, most likely. Um, and resources to rebuild. Because having that kind of, uh, that kind of attrition over time can be just detrimental. We'll grab some guards for our mages that we're just going to start making sure are in this castle. Because we're constantly sending mages to upgrade. We need to start accounting for that properly. Hopefully this Hoburg doesn't try and push in. I really don't want to have to deal with this army, but I want my magic items back. I think we definitely have to deal with it. They have a lot of crossbows from what I'm seeing here. For enough to where it's concerning. So what are Hoburgs good at, right? They're basically good at magic resistance, where the trolls suck at it. These guys are great. Um... You know, we're not great at magic resistance, but they don't have, like, major spell casters on their side. They have this weird coil spring gun that strikes anywhere. But I don't see any mages in their lines. So I think we'll be okay if we fight them. But what we really need is our knights. Our knights are really what bully these guys, and we don't have any here. We have someone in this astrologer, but I really want to press our advantage on the enchanter. Start building up cavalrymen instead of long bows, but I was hoping this outpost would be more where we grab those bows in mass and throw them at the enemy. I have no idea how much we've weakened the troll. It's likely we've taken out most of their force um, at this point. Two large armies is most of what the trolls are going to be able to field, I think, based on the map I'm seeing. Oh, I, I have no idea what their situation. Actually, I shouldn't even say that. I have no idea what the situation with the Hobergs and them is. The Hobergs could be terrible. The Druid could be interrupting everything. I just I don't know enough. I shouldn't comment on it. I do not know enough. We're going to continue to build up this army. Still no commander, huh? Not very lucky. Probably should have thrown an alchemist there at some point. Okay, they're following us. Oh, God. Where do we send these guys? they make it away? Hopefully. We're going to try and run him back up here. Get him to the fort. Continue to build guards for our friends. Did we build bows here? We did not. Build bows here. Starting to lose our money. I'm really unsure what to do about the Hobergs. think how much armor do they have okay their crossbows have no armor these guys have one they don't have these dudes have four my lord those things are beast i'm 
gonna try and do a little show of force here. I don't know where that beholder is, and that's my one big concern, but we're gonna try and chase down the Hobergs with our 97 unit army. This is all garbage. The real plan is for the back line to fire. Um, I don't think our mages will do much either, though. So really what we're just relying on is to outfire them because we have longer range um, and what looks to be a better bow core as these guys have those slingers that are just cheap crap. And the hope is that we shoot down their lines before they can shoot down ours um, if we do engage with them. I don't know about it, though. I feel weird in this situation. What did we get? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay, well, we accidentally ended a turn. That was a big waste of everything, but we'll stick with it. Misclicks are fine. They didn't keep chasing this army. That could have been a real bad misclick. Oh, God. And we lost the opportunity at an alchemist and something else. Hope it wasn't anything too great. But we did get spearmen this turn, so we can finally beef up this army a little bit. Finally do that thing we were planning to do. Uh, why do I see Druid over here? Oh, it's those messenger crows. Not too concerned about that. Let's go here. Jeez, this beholder. I really need someone else to tank that for us. Take out all these troops. See, the Hobergs can actually fight with the beholder a little bit more, because they have such strong magic resistance in their armies, even for their really shitty guys. Um, what I would do is just throw army and armies of sl slingers <laughs> at the uh, beholder, hoping to injure it and its compatriots, because it's hard for it to charm them comparatively with other species. It still might, which would lead to problems, but and it will just kill them too with all these other spells. But it's got one armor, you know? Um, you just ping it enough, and eventually it'll get injuries. You feeble mind it, and all of a sudden, you have a really shitty beholder on your hands. And that's better than a good Beholder with level 2 spells all over the place. So we're going to continue to try and press our advantages here by throwing out this crappy force to go try and take uh, Enchanter stuff. It's such a trek, but I hope it'll be worth it because um, of how long it'll take him to recover. The Druid's really starting to get on my nerves with all this stuff he's been throwing at us. Just do more guards when we do get stuff going on here. Still need to recapture that. Does anyone else I need to move? Baron, stay strong here. Recruited already. Start grabbing longbowmen here and things. Preparing for when um, the inevitable force pulls through here from our free spawn. One future, future, future day. When we have units again. We're not getting real lucky on spawning stuff. Beholder, please leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. That's all I gotta say. Another scout. That'll be useful against the trolls. Okay. So we have not gotten a commander here, and we've now made it here. We'll grab almost all this stuff. And all these cavalrymen don't really need more spears as we built a decent core here so we're gonna go in with this stuff make sure I have everything make sure I'm not making a mistake we don't have another commander to back us up if we accidentally make a mistake crap that guy yep and I think two lines is good and uh, we'll siege this down taking a desert palace next turn so we don't have the movement for it this turn Continue to move through the rugged terrain that is our home. Completely avoid this army, and we're going to move upwards here. Try and get an advantage on the Enchanter. One thing of note is that if we do catch these guys in a siege ever with siege equipment, uh, these guys are not blunt resistant, so they'll take massive damage versus our trebuchets, but I just don't see us ever catching them there um, without taking a base over there first, because we'd be so slow to get to that region. Anything else I want to recruit? Let's keep getting longbowmen. Uh, I can't tell which castle is which because I'm a blind man. I thought that was it, but I wasn't sure. Do we want to grab? We've recruited here. 
grab from this guard tower. Okay. So we got some things in the works. We're a little more standstilly than I'd like, but that's okay. That'll happen in conquest from time to time. We have no movement there because it's snowy mountains. Slow rolling. Don't. We do not want to stand on that lake. I have a fear of standing on frozen lakes without amphibious troops. It's a very large fear in my brain. It tells me never to do it. I don't know where these Hobergs are. We're going to step on these watchtowers and get some more vision. But over here, um, first we'll build another trebuchet. Throw it into this army. And then watch as we evaporate. Ooh. We did not grab our unicorn knight. That's okay. We'll come back for him. Uh, or we'll build another army here, actually, I think. Would be optimal. Build up some high lords. I don't know why the action did not go through. Keep building bodyguards, because we're starting to get these guys encroach on our stuff. Which we need to start eliminating trolls. And troll force. We need to take the advantage to them, but I just... Maybe this army can take up... Yeah, I guess we'll stop chasing our magic items. Those weren't our best ones. We might just go after the trolls for more. We need a base over there where we can build up siege equipment and troops and start going after their bases. That's what we really... With this guy... See, you can just see how well we do it at base sieges with our trebuchets. Defending and holding and, and attacking siege stuff is what we're really going to do best at. As long as we have siege equipment. We're going to take some hits here as the javelins come in. Going to have Falling Frost take some of them out too, though. Losing a little more knights than I'd like, but hey. Going to have to take losses to make gains. Concern here is Falling Frost is also hitting our knights. Luckily, our unicorn knights are a little better at tanking that. But this should be a sweep here. Oh god, okay, we just lost some more knights. Those javelin throws. Pretty nasty. They've also been hit with Falling Frost a couple times. Doing even more damage to them. But we take it. Comfortably. Is that another troll army? Thought I saw a troll here. I don't know if there was or not, but... A little scared. That's just a messenger crow. It's a little irritating. We've lost movement points. For little to no reason. We'll build up a cavalry um, brigade here with archers behind it eventually to prepare to help this army move around. But I think moving for more of the Balista stuff, fortifying this desert palace and things like it are our next steps up in this side of the world. Or down in this side of the world, I guess, depending on your perspective of things. <laughs> Don't think Elysium is round, though I've never asked. Alrighty. Let's keep preparing our uh, barony for when more people come. I think other than that, though, that's all our movement. I'm terrified of this beholder trying to come after us. But he's slow. He's not gonna... Okay, is he slow, slow? Yeah, he's slow, slow. Okay, he can't even make it through the hills when it's snowing. But we spent all our gold. Not getting a lot of mages recently. Had most of our mage core wiped too, which is sad. It looks like the beholder is just sitting here. I don't like that. Another troll army, but this is utter, utter, utter poo poo. But we'll ignore it for now. Looking to press our advantage against them. We could actually just so easily wipe this, but I'm not super concerned about it. A little bit of trebuchet here, just in case that beholder comes. We have something to fire at him. Shouldn't have our Baron sitting without his delightful trebuchets that keep him safe from any harm. Front line's looking a little weakened, but we're handling it. What? A oh god, we brought the Venom Sword with us. We have like half our magic items in the wrong place. Let me, let me take this. Sucks, we can't put that on a High Lord, but hey. These guys will murder come into contact. Let's get a captain here. I'm really looking for a High Lord to run around with that uh, magic cloak and the Amulet of Hate. 
We're running out of money. Could sell some iron, but I think we're going to continue our advance here, so we'll see how that does. Move this guy upwards through here and try and get a scout on how the troll is doing. Try and gobble him. As we're seeing him push weak armies now, I'm less afraid of the Troll King. And his feeble fo force, feeble foes. Weird way to say it. Continue our longbow recruitment. A little bit more of a relaxed part of the game right now. Just clenching our teeth. Um, relaxing as we're surrounded by enemies on the Western Front. I shouldn't be too worried though. Like, really, we've conquered all our enemies over here. We have all those resources to throw at whoever's near. Oh, wow. Got the warrior's charm. I really hope those bears don't attack me. I forgot to grab my bodyguards. That would be a giant waste of resources. But we'll come kill this dude. He's actually pretty tough to kill. We might actually run into trouble. He might actually hurt a significant portion of our army. But as you can see, we finally we can finally establish a base over here if we grab this guard tower. And that's that's two more silver mines. That's nothing to, to gawk at. Okay. Try and get more vision. Who's this is the druid? Just don't have enough sight over here. I need to grab one of the bases. That's our goal with that guy, is to run behind them, grab a base, see what we can do. See what magic we can make happen. This guy's going over to that to deserted port with all these trebuchets. He's going to take that pretty handedly, I think. Build up some trebuchet defenses since they're cheaper for us right now than building um, massive amounts of arrows to defend our bases. Really don't want him running over here with this. This thing has come too far. Frankly, so is this. And he might take our ancient forest. And that's a base for the Troll King, if you did not know. Where it is not for us. Certain factions get bases in those. Um, can't remember all of them. It's it's the, the Dryads and the Troll Kings, at least. I believe the Druid doesn't get a base there. But he's able to like spawn everything if he actually gets a Druid sitting there. Is his real power. We'll see how this fight goes. Ooh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Second big enchanter army, but it's all wounded. We're going to grab the base. Our plan needs to stick with that. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's cut down so many forests, and he's still pretty powerful. This army will do, like, nothing to this. Especially if he has enchanted sleep. Uh, but we're trying to... We're going to try and gib him before he gets on us hardcore. Okay. Oh, we found. I think we found the castle. That or the Voices of El uh, made those holy towns. That just means that there's more followers of the faith. Um, I know the castle does that too, though, so I'm not sure which it is. We've safely made it here. We visit our library. We will perform the ritual of mastery and get mass combustion and soul slide. This guy's nothing too bad. And we can shoot him with all offensive spells. He's pretty healthy as well. Send him with a couple of bodyguards and send him northward, probably. Eventually, um, getting over here and meeting up with hopefully some free spawn we get. We'll need to either build a commander or take Vano to do it. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Send forth our legions to take a base. This should be pretty clean. I'd be surprised if we take a loss here. We got a lot of magic going on. He did take a wound, just a chest wound, just reduced HP. Or is it strength, too? I think it's just HP. Oh, nope. It's both. Yep. I had a feeling. Chest wound is pretty bad. Okay. 
Looks like we will kill this thing, although we'll take like a couple losses of spearmen. That's fine. It's nice to stop that progress. Got our conscription. We have a High Lord available. I really want to throw him down here and go meet up with this group eventually. But so far, I haven't seen any fights going on. Yeah, I think we will build him down here. He will go meet up with that group. We'll build cavalrymen. And we'll build a pretty strong force. Um, with the intention that these guys are going to be our Hoburg killers. Hopefully we'll get more High Lords. And we can make a High Lord Troll Knight. Um, with an Axe of Sharpness. Or the Venom Sword. Combining a bunch of items together to make a pretty powerful dude. Kind of just chop through people. Um, so we have Ethelric, Ethelric, our new Shadow Knight, coming into the fold. Run this dude up here through the forest. Hopefully those bears stay away. We will mass combust them and die. If not, actually I should probably move in more troops with them. I can't be asked. I really can't stupid fire ants have taken our stuff. Oh, they're going to combine with this dude, too. That makes that battle less worth it. But we're going to just stomp through his lands. And he's going to find real trouble getting through ours. And worse comes to worse, he destroys some forests and makes them easier to pass through for us. Earnestly. But we do also have Vano, who can come up with just a holy glob of knights and spearmen if we want him to question is do we because we have other fronts to be concerned about right now i'm not sure how i'm feeling about vano doing anything too rash okay let's move out depends how deep he wants to try and go if he just retakes these silver mines it's irritating and we might move vano elsewhere but if he does something else Worth concern. We'll continue to move Will around. I have to figure out exactly what's going on here. Ooh. Okay, a guard tower. We can finally get a base of operations in their area of the world if we kill this. Doesn't look like it'll be too rough. But we see a lot of troll controlled forests. We see that he's been clashing with the druid, um, which isn't too surprising. We did lose this Martin Bailey, which means we're losing a knight every turn. Do we want that back? We might have to wait on it. You can't raise levies in the Desert Palace, can you? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. Did not think so. Grab these Hoburg villages. All of a sudden, we'll be getting all the short people in our, in our Baron's castle. Okay, he, he looks like he's intent on coming to fight our army. Oh, this is the worst. That's, this is just my... This is just me being stupid. There's no reason for him to die. Such a waste of resources for no reason, but not too miffed about it. Oh, they built more trolls. Oh, this army will kill that. Yeah. We have a bunch of casters. Uh, they're a little further back than I'd like, but they'll get in there. Might lose our High Lord, though. They don't have any archers, so they're just going to try and send troops out. Um, but they will be basically pincushions as our archers just demolish them. I'm a little afraid what what took this, so I'm going to get over here as soon as possible. Prepare to take... Actually, I should go after the Desert Palace first, and then take the Deserted... Oh, there was a High Cultist here, actually. I, I thought this was a regular port. I didn't even look over it. That's really disappointing. This is way worse than a regular port. Oh well. We'll build another High Lord. Build some trebuchets kind of preparing to make sure no one comes and gibbs us. Oh, whoops. We want Ethelric in charge, since he's our Shadow Knight. Our Shadow Knight. Do we attack this? I think running away would be definitely the best option. So what do we got here? Ooh, we found their Crystal Tower.
What if he dies if we kill this? That would be so perfect. We're attacking that next turn. We're going to take losses from the catapult and from the archers, but... The hope is it'll be worth it. Because if we take him out of the game, that's a big threat reduction on our borders. Build some ballista. Let's keep fortifying this. Hopefully the Hobergs don't come over and try and stomp us. We got all our magics. The militiamen with our amulet of cold resistance. That's just insult to injury. Okay, I think that's this turn. Um, and we'll watch these battles, and then I think we'll end this episode of the series. Come on, just fear those trolls to convert them, please. Please do that. I don't want to have to... Oh, we're getting some dead High Lords. It's okay. Our Night Corps is gone, but we've established a base. If we capture those trolls, that would be cool, but I don't see that happening. Our monks just are not getting close enough. It's just too much congestion. We do get to disintegrate. That troll is just dead forever. <laughs> Turned into a pile of dust. So we have our first stronghold in the troll area. Just killing a bear. That's not too exciting. Oh, he's going to go take our coal mine and make it into a thingy thing. Oh, my lord. Well, we'll end this turn. Um, we got some stuff to do next one, though. Um, we're going to spend almost all our money. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. Watch the d and I can't say that enough. But other than that, comment and subscribe. You know, Tell me how you're feeling about the campaign. Tell me how mad you are at me that I have made such sacrifices on the way to, to glory and uh, victory. But otherwise, leave positive comments and give the video a like, subscribe. Alert bell if you want something more consistent. Thanks for watching, though.